it seems to have apparently gone off and the reason why I'll explain to you all now but it is quite exciting to see who these two are and I'm very surprised where we are that they are actually here because we're quite far into Arethusa we're very very far towards sort of the eastern boundary of Arethusa so it is quite surprising that they are here. Now I'm just going to say hello to Sips. I used to work with Sips so it's always nice to see him and say hello to him and service. So I know these two quite well. Hello Sips and service, how are you guys? Are you guys well? Good. Where did Tiani from Bogut? Kanya steam. So I was just talking to Sips, he was telling me that one of the leopards was Tiani, which is my favorite leopard, and unfortunately she's gone further south and it's apparently to a property that we can't go to. But the other leopard that is here, I'm going to try and see if we can't find her. She was somewhere in this area. So you can see up in the tree here there is a carcass. So that is why these leopards were here. Now I wouldn't be surprised that Tiani caught this impala and it's now been stolen from her by her mom, Salahesh. So Salahesh is here, so Vulpine Wolf Girl, you were asking about um, seeing Salahesh, so he, she is here and hopefully we will find her. And actually I can see her now in front. You see her there, Senzo? Just behind the vehicle, she's sitting there. So if you go, there we go. So she's just moving around in the bush there. We will try and find a better place. Now we are going to go into our fake ad break. So I might go quiet for a few seconds. But it is Salahesh as far as I know. And we'll try, like I say, get a little bit closer. But it is very shady there. So I'm hoping she's not going to lie in that long grass. And we'll be able to see her. Now, we're going to stay with this female and hopefully she might come up towards the carcass. And while we do that, we're going to go for a short little break. We'll see you all soon. Alright, so there we go. That was our little ad break. Now we're back live with you guys. And as you can see, we didn't go away anywhere. But I'm going to try and just position myself a little bit better that we can actually see Salahesh in all her glory. Because she is... A beautiful beautiful individual and like I say this is not a normal area for her she doesn't normally come this far east so I'm quite surprised that she's in this area it's not an area that we would generally associate her with and it could be because shadow is denning and shadow has moved more towards sort of Hoffman's side and is using that area for where her cub is that Salahesh is now moving into this area and utilizing this space and like I say it's probably to do with the fact that Tiani had a kill and now Salahesh has stolen it or Salahesh made the kill and Tiani still wants to try and feed off kills from her mom but she has been separated and I know that Salahesh has been mating quite a bit she doesn't look like she's pregnant but let's have a look at Salahesh instead of me because she's far more prettier than I am and you can see she's now found herself in the shade so I believe a lot of you are excited to see her. And isn't she beautiful? She's also one of my favorite leopards. When I was at Simamili, this was a leopard that we saw almost every day. She spent a lot of time in the camp. I used to walk into her quite often in the camp. So I've spent countless hours with her. And she really is a beautiful, beautiful individual. And one that is really very, very relaxed around vehicles. And she's been a great mom to Tiani. She's had such bad luck prior to Tiani with a lot of different males in her territory that have made it very very tough for her to raise cubs successfully and so she did really well with Tiani and that sort of combined with Anderson being so dominant in this area has allowed for her to raise Tiani to adulthood and I'm hoping that she will be pregnant and have another cub and the fact that she's in areas like this is really a great sign for us and in terms of us seeing more of Salahesh should be really really good she'll probably now shift into these areas and if she does have a cub she will definitely mark out this territory and try and keep shadow out of it so we might start seeing Salahesh a little bit more which is great news for all of us you can see she really is a regal beautiful female still in the prime of her life I think she's about 10 now if I remember correctly and so she is in absolute prime and 
wouldn't it be nice if she shifted into Arethusa and Shadow came into Juma and we got to see the two of them quite a bit if indeed Karula is gone. It would be really, really nice if those two sort of ended up as our two females that we saw a lot of. And the nice thing about Salahesh is that she is really just such a relaxed individual and, and to find her is often quite easy because she likes to walk around and when she sort of does, she's not phased if a vehicle comes along and she doesn't like hiding too much. She's often out in the open and she loves lying in the boughs of these marula trees. So you often find her up in trees as well, which makes it obviously a lot easier to spot then something like Shadow who tends to move around more in the thickets and is a little bit more elusive. But you can see she's really full and starting to pant already. That impala has been consumed quite a bit so I would imagine that both leopards had a really good feed off it There's, and they've been here for probably more than a day so yesterday I would imagine is when they killed this and they've now consumed through the night and I'm pretty sure Tiani would have a very very full belly when we leave Salesh a little bit later I'm gonna try and see if I can't find Tiani I'm sure she hasn't gone too far So Wicked Ange, you're wondering if she's going to be moving into Karula's territory. Well, I don't think so. Um, Karula's territory is still sort of quite far from where we are now. And at the end of the day, we're in sort of Shadow's area at the moment. So I think if anything, she's pushing Shadow further to the east, which means Shadow would go more into Karula's territory than what Salahesh would go. But you can see she's a very big female. She's much larger than Shadow and and Tundi. She's a really quite a big girl. So her genetics with Anderson produces these massive females. I'm sure Tiani's going to be bigger than her. The last time I saw Tiani, she was about the same size as her mom already. So I'm hoping that she's going to sort of keep growing and maybe they'll produce another sort of set of cubs. But isn't she beautiful? Now I wonder where she's off to. Maybe she's trying to find some shade. A bit nervous of all of the sun that's now raining down. I'm going to try and see if I can't keep up with her. The other thing about Salehesh is she likes to walk. She's not a female that sort of hangs around too much. When she does decide to walk, she can walk quite far. So we're going to try and keep up with her in this thicket. And while we do that, let's go across to Steph and see where he is and whether he's walking at the rate that she is.